All right, I get it. I know most people don't think of their air fryer as one of the best ways in their house to cook a steak, but it is. And not, and not just a steak, but a high-end restaurant quality steak. I mean, one that you won't forget anytime soon. And uh, if you'll watch this video, I'm going to show you exactly how simple and easy and excellent it can be by cooking those two ribeyes over the top of these baby Dutch potatoes in some goat milk butter and all of it at the same time in about 20 minutes. And, uh, well, you watch and you'll see what I mean. I'm John Sanders. I'm also known as Jelly007. Right there it is, New York strips air fried over baby Dutch potatoes in goat milk butter. Let's get it started. Okay, so I want to get a few things out of the way because when I come back, most of this will be done and we'll be starting this cook. Those are two uh, New York strip steaks, about three quarter to one inch thick, just normal right out of my grocer's meat case, nothing special. Uh, if you if you watch my videos, you know all I ever put on a steak is salt and pepper. I, I'm just a purist when it comes to that. I don't normally put anything else, but of course you can. Now I'm going to move these out of the way because, well, let me say this also. These are baby Dutch yellow potatoes, rich buttery flavor. I totally agree. They're absolutely great. I love them. They work perfect with this recipe, and you can kind of see what size they are. And that does, you don't want to... The larger the potato, the longer it takes to cook, so I'll get out of that. The goat milk butter, right there it is. Now, I'm not saying how easy that is to find. I don't know it. It may be, but they had it at my store. I've seen it at more than one of my local stores. But I have done this recipe with this right here many times before, and I would assume that's even easier to find. The, really, the only thing I'm looking for is a high butter fat butter in a European style. That That's just me. You, you could use regular butter. <laughs> I'm going to use the uh, thermopen to check temperature. I have other ways, but because most people maybe don't, I'm going to use this to kind of give you an idea exactly how that would work. I'm using the Ninja Max. I do love this device, especially for this type thing. Now, I'll say right out of the gate that I have used my other air fryers for this exact recipe, and it did fine. But this one goes to 450 degrees, so I do like that for a steak. It, but the Ninja Max also comes with this, and that is something you're going to need. You, you're just about going to have to have it for this recipe. So if yours doesn't have it, you'll have to come up with something to do that with. Now, it also has this in the bottom that I'm going to remove. I will not use that in this recipe because we're going to take about, I don't know, a, a a half a, about a quarter of that, I'll say. A quarter of this. If it were this, I can tell you what I'd use. If it were a stick, I would be using a half a stick. So a half a stick, which well, is a quarter of a cup. And uh, I put that in there. That's room temperature. I put it in there and let it get a little melted. And then I put as many potatoes as I want. I kind of sling them around or slosh them around a little bit. Let them get coated with butter. And uh, then put that on. Put the steaks on. But you're going to see all that in just a second. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to say. I don't believe so. So I'm going to get that right there started. Get the butter melted. Get those potatoes in. And then we're going to start this cook. Be right back. Okay, here is my melted butter. And I went a little uh, further than I discussed. <laughs> that's about half of that. So that's actually a half a cup of butter. I, the way I see it, it really can't hurt. I mean, it's just going to be what gets on the potato. And I mean... It's, it's, it's not like you got to eat it all. So now I'm going to pick out, I don't know, enough for two people. And I'm going to put them in. In fact, we'll just do that right there. Uh, I'll try and use some of the larger. The truth is, if the potatoes are not done when the steak is, while your steak's resting, you can let these run. I've done that many times. So there's about 10 or 11 potatoes. you know. And so what I'm about to do, is just get them covered just get them kind of coated with butter because during the cook we'll be shaking those uh we'll be shaking the pan a little bit to keep the potatoes kind of rolling in that butter next step we'll put this right here on i'm gonna move these to the center where i won't be on them i know it, it looks like i could use a couple more i'm gonna put one or two more in there you don't want to crowd the potatoes i did find that it doesn't seem like they cook as well if you fill it all the way up and i have literally tried that 
So, I gotta find something right here. We are really close to this right here. Putting the stakes on. So there's one ribeye, and there's the other. And you can see that's kind of a his and hers. <laughs> That'll be baby dolls over there, the smaller one. Oh, by the way, I measured them. They're right at one inch thick. So that'll give you an idea. Again, it's just an idea. I still recommend everybody use their own whatever type of a thermometer, uh, digital instant read thermometer they have or whatever they can get. So I'm going to completely clear it because we're going to put that in. I'm going to turn it back on. We're going to max crisp, which is 450 degrees. And I'm going to go ahead and set it for 20 minutes where I don't have to worry about it turning off. But we're going to be watching it and flipping those steaks. And also, I'll be shaking it every once in a while, but we're off and running. 450 degrees, two ribeye. I'm sorry, I, I may have said ribeyes before. Two New York strip steaks over some baby Dutch potatoes and goat milk butter. Be back. And just, just to show you what I do, I know they're not ready, but I still, every once in a while, I do this right here, just to roll the potatoes around and get them coated with that goat milk butter. All right, I'm going to look at it right at around the eight minute mark. Let's just see what they look like, and I can shake the potatoes, and they don't look bad, but I'm not going to flip them just yet. And you can see I threw a little butter out, <laughs> but we're back in and running. All right, we're coming up on the halfway mark. I'm gonna go ahead and open it because I'm either, I think I'm gonna flip them right here. I feel positive and you can see they look excellent and that, that's my point. That's what air fryers do to steaks. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. But you can see the other side needs browning so you definitely wanna flip them. I'm gonna flip this one right here like that. And Get that position right where I want. I'm going to shake the potatoes just a minute just to get them coated with the butter a little bit better, which we could have looked at. I just didn't, but they're, they're not done. We'll check them again shortly. Be back. All right, so I just did a temp check, and we're around 140, which is a perfect, if you ask me, medium, uh, medium steak. So just so you'll know, right there it is. 145 and uh, that 144, that's perfect for me. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these out and we're gonna check those potatoes. Now this side browned a little better, this other side right here, and I'm not sure I can show you, but you'll see it on the plate. Both of them look perfect, uh, like steak's supposed to. And there's the potatoes, so we're gonna take a reading on those because I want around 200 degrees on a potato at least 200 degrees you have to have and uh, otherwise I mean you, you, you may have a different method where you kind of poke it with something and uh, get an idea how soft it is so we're a little shy on that 168 and that's the largest potato in there I'm gonna check a smaller one just so we'll know 180 but the beauty of that is these can rest. In fact, all steaks, you always rest a steak. So we're going to let these rest for five minutes while those finish out that cooking. Okay, so we're at the 20 minute, the final 20 minute of the cook, what we set up to begin with. I was going to let it go through its little cool down feature, but it's not that big of a deal. In fact, if it don't turn off, I'm, it's not a big deal. There you go. There's what they look like. Uh, nothing wrong. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Now you have to be careful because you can throw a little butter up on you and that butter is it's hot. <laughs> so we're going to do a check right here on the potatoes. We'll take that one right there. And we have, let's see if you can see what I'm doing. You can. 199. So there's 200. Carryover will probably take that potato to exactly what I want. Here's one that's still 194 so quite honestly i'm probably good with that but we're gonna add i'm gonna add uh two minutes and and we're gonna let that and when that's done we're gonna take them out so there they go so we're looking at 22 minutes from the time uh you walked in and put these in your uh air fryer and then had what I'm going to say is really one of the best meals you'll ever eat. Anyhow, 
two minutes. I'll see you. Okay, we're coming up on the, the final two minutes, which made this a total of a 22-minute cook. And uh, this, it, this, it's like it's always, <laughs> it's spectacular. I'm going to take this right here and put it in the sink, just like this. And then I'm going to put these in this bowl for now. Give them a minute to kind of sit around just a second because they are super hot. But again, you could serve them right now. But I'm going to put them in here and I'm going to pour that butter over the top of them. And uh, we're going to put them with these steaks. So, y'all bear with me. I'll be right back. I may have to make a picture or two. We'll see. <laughs> but I'll just show you this. Well, here comes this part. This is a, a, an important part. So, I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> That right there. And uh, I don't need to tell you. Goat's milk butter on top of that, and it's, it, it's going to be excellent. Be back. Okay, so I, I got to make some of those pictures us YouTubers always make. But I wanted to show you the ending uh, temps right now. And we're talking about 199, 200 degrees on the potato. That is absolutely perfect. I mean, it's going to climb a little further. And 132 on the steak that's a I, again people do not think of this as the best way to cook a steak i mean uh literally you could go by the store on the way i've done it before you buy them set them in the front seat that is lets it get a little bit closer to room temperature when you get here you drop them in it's it's unbeatable i'm telling you 22 minutes new york strip steak and excellently cooked potatoes in a a goat milk butter that kind of gives it a little bit of a twang. You, you, it's, it's a real neat way to cook potatoes all in the same device at the same time. Again, 22 minutes. So let's just take a look. We'll take, I don't, I got to make pictures, so I don't want to destroy it. <laughs> but right here, right in the center. And uh, I just don't know how you would beat that. Uh, again, any restaurant in town would have trouble comparing with that uh it again <laughs> i'm gonna take a bite of it let's get one right here i'll move that potato and as you might expect it's as good as it looks the potato is perfectly cooked i'll show you by mashing it I mean, that is a, uh, mm, an excellent butter flavor. And you got plenty more butter if you want to pour it over it. You got it. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> but you could. That's my point. So anyhow, trust your air fryer to cook one of the quickest, easiest, best steaks you've ever had, call me out on the video if you don't think I am telling you the truth. Hey, I love y'all all. all. <laughs> y'all come back to see me. Y'all have a good night. Air fry your steak and some potatoes. Bye-bye.